slack on this. Have you guys been doing sets and noticed that there's no slack on this? All the time. Very literal front row guy, like, whatever question you ask, man, I will answer the shit out of it. You look like a Zach. No? Am I close? Billy. Trevor. 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 I swear to Jesus if you lie to me. I swear to the Mormon Jesus. I know where I am. I swear to Mormon Jesus, don't you lie to me, Tyler. I'm swapping it around. I'm not Mormon, but don't I look like one? Are any Latter-day Saints here? I'm not going to make fun of you. I will celebrate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The prophet Moroni brought you here today. Let's vie for collab together. I don't know what this means. Let's read the book of Ether. How are you? There's a book called Ether. You know that? It's a book called Ether. That's a hallucinogen. No one is, there's a book of LSD. It's crazy. I love it. Good for you. Thanks for being right in the front. Of course you're fucking smiling and happy. You feel the burning in your bosom and you came. If you're laughing at these jokes, you're responsible. If you get that reference, you deny the Holy Spirit. You're going to Mormon hell, which isn't as bad as regular hell. Everybody relax. You're basically just a servant to these fuckers while they fuck multitudes of women and uh, populate their spirit planet. Is that true? I thought for sure you were going to be like, that is a grotesque stereotype. We're sick of it. You're like, no, I'm going to populate a spirit planet. <laughs> Look, if I were going to pick a religion, I would pick yours. A hundred percent. Eternal fucking and you will be as one day the father is today? We call that sack religion every other religion. You guys call it going for gold. <laughs> Good for you. I, love, I, I was just in Salt Lake City. Love it. I love it. Don't I look like I would fit in there? People treat me like the goddamn mayor. Look at this face. Hello. They let me in the temple. If you're laughing at that joke, you're responsible. Deny the Holy Spirit you're going to Mormon hell. This just turned into a weird sermon. I went to the, I went to the temple. It was awesome. I loved it. And I was talking. Did you guys go on a mission? Where was your mission? Finland? Finland? Doesn't count. <laughs> Fucking eating chocolates and getting foot massages? Bullshit. Where were you? Taiwan counts. Good for you. No, yes. Fuck spirit women. No. Finland. Is there like a hood of Finland? Like a hood. You guys got to get in the hood and get those people. Yeah, thug life, like thug life, but in Finland. Like, we like the dark chocolate. Very dangerous. Some of you took that as a racial joke. I didn't mean it that way. You were like, oh, I get it. Dark chocolate. Fuck you, Utah. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. That's the only way this place can get whiter. Good for you. Oh, you can't laugh at yourself. I felt a lot of assholes clench in that moment. You're just like, no! You voted with your sphincter that you were uncomfortable. No! What a weird time. It's not often that you're in a group of people and you feel that many assholes tighten. The only other time is when you're on an airplane and there's a big bump of turbulence. You know what I'm talking about? On your flight to Finland, where you're going to serve the Mormon Jesus. When you hit some turbulence that's when my did you do that am i alone only one girl was like i'll be honest with you peter thank you <laughs> everybody out thank you my manager fucking a the guy that answers rhetorical questions is like i don't answer literal questions it'll be fine <laughs> sir does your asshole tyler does it have, does your asshole i know i can't be consistent neither apparently what is your real name steve okay <laughs> i knew i was way off before this fucking muppet in the balcony Way off! You're doubting my psychic abilities? You're like, I don't think this guy's a real psychic at all. You're third eye blind, sir. Do, 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 do. That's a funny riff. I don't know why we're not laughing harder at that. This girl's fucking cashing happy checks and living her life. Everybody else is judging. Look, he's trying to get you drunk. That's very sweet. 
you miss, he was just handing her a, an American cocktail, being like, drink it, drink it, it'll be fine, and drink it. Like feeding and nursing a baby bird back to health with a worm, but it's booze, like, loosen up, baby. She's not laughing, which makes me think she's in, in trouble. You guys are a weird crowd, and I like that about you. <laughs> Do we acknowledge him? You know what I mean? It's like there's a curtain on fire in the corner, and we're all ignoring it, like... Do we acknowledge that or just like, everybody be cool, everybody be cool. It's not gonna spread, don't acknowledge it. What are you, the cool police? Fucking get in here. This guy's here to marshal who's being cool and who's not. Put that down. Look at that, you can't be drinking that drink. Well, hey man, how are you? I didn't mean to make fun of you, but cool please. I just mean like you look like a cool guy. Is your name Trevor? Benjamin. Benjamin, who? What are you, the fucking coolest guy ever? He's just like, it's Benjamin actually, lit cigarette, something explodes. Good for you, Benji. Benjamin? Benjamin? How to be cooled by Benjamin. You would buy that book. I like that your winter hat is on. Like, if this doesn't pick up, we're getting the fuck out of here. Any minute now. I went to the temple. You can't go in the, have you been in the temple? You were baptized in the temple. No? You don't know? <laughs> I thought everyone was baptized in the temple. In a church. Doesn't count. But you've been in the temple? Yeah. Okay. There's that whole, when you go to Salt Lake City, they have a model of the temple, right? And half of it you can see, and half of it you can't see. And I asked one of the missionaries, I was just like, what's in the other half? And she's like, I have to assume it's a mirror image of the side we can see. <laughs> Fucking bullshit, right, Muppet? Balcony Muppet was shaking his head, fucking no. You know that's where they keep their goddamn secret dragon. You know it. That's where the dragon is. Laugh or the Holy Spirit will burn in your bosom. The Mormons are laughing. Mormons are laughing. Mormons are laughing. Uh, no fake laughs, I swear to Jesus. The Mormon Jesus, I will heave you into a mine. I'm trying to think of something new. That was your butler laugh? Jesus, I thought the alcohol was weaker here. <laughs> Oh, your Muppet laugh. Dance like a Muppet. That's not right. You swam like a person. <laughs> Muppets can't bend their arms. What's your name? Albert? Eric. Eric? It's definitely not Benjamin. I'll tell you that for fuck's sake. <laughs> your name is not Benjamin. Uh, this is a very fun show. I'm very happy to be here. How many people here are weirdos, fans of the show? <laughs> oh, lovely. Thank you so much for coming out. That is great. This is a weird one. Ah, you shushed him. That was awesome. What are you, the best audience member? You're like, shut the fuck up. Gigantic John Ritter is talking. Yeah, I love it. Wait, this is a weird... Oh, what am I, Benjamin? Okay, okay. We usually... Oh, this, this has a different vibe, doesn't it? I wasn't even going to sit here. I'm changing the pace. Benjamin, you're the fucking coolest, man. Give it up for Benjamin. I'm not even kidding. That's not a joke. I'm not making fun of you. That guy's from Finland. Do you know him? What is Finland known for? Chocolate? Sauna? They invented the sauna? All of them collectively. I like that he's riffing on what you're saying, so I can just repeat things. Does anybody want to lob me bits? I can just repeat. So Chelsea, our guest, was just making fun of how I crossed my legs, and I don't care for that. Uh, this is weird. What's weird about this episode of, uh, of You Made It Weird is we only have one guest. And I already told you who it is. We have one guest. Everybody got the flu. But the one person who didn't is the one person I really wanted to do. You ready to get her out here? Woo! You know her from the show. She's been on Louie. She's been on Comedy Central. She's my best, worst friend. I love her to death. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea Peretti! Woo! Hello, Chelsea. Hi. Hi. We're already off to a terrible start in the sense that... I got a comfortable chair and you yes. have to perch like a bird? Yeah. They requ they came up to the green room. They're like, do you want chairs or stools? He was like, stools. In my head, I was like, probably chairs. <laughs> then I see there is a comfortable chair and you've gone ahead I feel like you should take it. it. You should take it. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Do you have enough slack? I was noticing that there's not enough slack. This no. is streaming live on YouTube, which is an internet website. Oh, those people are usually nice. Ha, 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 
I look looking forward, forward to, the to all of it. Yeah. Um, it's going to be weird. It's a little off-putting that there's a piano behind you. Yeah, this also duplicates. Me and Pete are roommates during this journey, and That's true. Um, we got a little snack basket, and uh, he ate everything good out of it. <laughs> and he was just going. <laughs> you didn't like that I finished the trail mix. There was a trail mix, guys. I need you to rule on this. <laughs> there was there was a little bag of trail mix which I promptly inhaled. And then Chelsea said I should have asked her if she wanted some of the Wouldn't you mix. say that's fair? Like in a roommate scenario, you're given a joint gift. What is the best audience member there? <laughs> that's what the worst audience yeah, member no one thinks. Wants what is the best <laughs> audience no member No one trusts there? your opinion. You're like clearly a lunatic. <laughs> I'm talking about like actual like anyone who's like vaguely normal here. <laughs> you're clearly a lunatic. He waited in line to come to the show. <laughs> he's <laughs> And then he's like, you're clearly a loon. Get cozy, Chels. Get right cozy. Well. Oh, this is Ball good. it up. Ball it up. You should have requested chairs. This is awesome. Well, there was a cheese that was covered in coffee grounds. Yes. <laughs> you like that? It's called helpful heckling at this point. You're just like, yeah, <laughs> I'm interested. Go on. <laughs> These people are liquored up. Yes. You talk. with them have been great. <laughs> what is your name? Of course it is. Cammy. It's a good name for a girl. It is a good name. It's it's the hottest Street Fighter character. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. You think Chun Li? You like him you like him thick downstairs? <laughs> Chun Li's legs could feed a small <laughs> army. I mean they're amazing. I don't know why we're not all celebrating this. Don't act like you don't fucking know who Chun Li well, is. Well a lot of people are adults. <laughs> So, <laughs> a lot of us aren't playing. <laughs> <laughs> You're really hurting my feelings, Chels. We had a hard time getting in. We and did. I, and I got to see your darker side. Which is rare. Not. Um, no. Right. Not really. Right. <laughs> well, we we uh, we had a trouble getting in with the uh, with the old shuttle. Did anybody else have a hard time getting into Park City? Yeah. It's kind of a clusterfuck, right? And Chelsea was Chelsea goes for the gut, goes for the throat rather. Are you? No. I'm just waiting for you to have something to say. How are you? Great. <laughs> it's very hot. It I is can't hot. tell to what degree this audience uh, likes me at all. I'm trying to just gauge it. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. That really does make things more comfortable. All right. So wait, are we gonna? Wait, do you have a condition? <laughs> you look like Is a Lego man. Is this an audition? Um, okay, so yes. did you, didn't you you write up a bunch of stuff to talk yeah, about? Yeah, I want to do a speed round with you. We've never done this before. Chelsea's done the show a bunch. I drew Spider-Man in a suit on the back. Can we get a punch in of that? Punch in? Uh-oh, Hollywood. <laughs> it's a little Hollywood term. No problem, no problem. Uh, well, I am excited. And I, do you want to do a speed round with me? Um, sure. Well, you have, you've done the show a couple times, but you haven't done it since we've been asking some Speak. of the weirder questions that I enjoy. Okay. Like, what kind of soap do you use? <sighs> it's a very good question. I find it's interesting. Um, I am actually in the process of trying to switch to organic soap. Oh, that's right, because you're concerned about the cancer. Right. So... Round of applause. Did anybody think you get cancer from, from soap? I actually won't judge you. I will take that as valid. Oh. Just the girl that's being <laughs> liquored up very, against her will. Well, a very light, weak applause from one. Nobody person. in this room uses organic soap. But that's why one, everyone two. has cancer, I think. And they're <laughs> 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 I think it's happening. I think it's a movement, even though it's not in this room. Yes. I think it is a movement that is going to happen. And when it does, you guys are going to be like, fuck. <laughs> we should have followed her. No, I use Dr. Bronner's sometimes. I got a laugh. <laughs> Dr. Bronner's is a real thing. Did, where, where, what were you using before Dr. Wait, Bronner's? Wait, when you have other guests, do these kind of questions turn into like interesting convo? Sometimes. <laughs> okay. I actually think this is interesting. I don't want to feel like I failed you. No, but you're not a body wash person. You use a bar. No, Bronner's is a, a body wash. Oh, okay. Lufa? <laughs> I think I speak for the audience when I say <laughs> Cammy Lufa. No, no Lufa, no Lufa. I'll just interview Cammy. Fine, Cammy. Yeah. 
Do you that's Lufa? beautiful, Cammy. Yeah. That's that's so natural. Um, I used one of those plastic poof balls that became so popular. What five years ago, Pete? Well, no, Lufa's a natural material, Cammy. It is. Yeah, a loof is a plastic thing. No, that's thing. plastic. No, girl. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. The plastic ones does not count as a loofah. Loofah is a thing found in nature. Where are my loofah people at? <laughs> is that true? <laughs> you can find loofah growing like truffles? That there, can't be correct. Do you know there's like a really disturbing hat that's like perfectly lit, like far in the distance? That's like a strawberry. Oh, I see it. It's it, very distracting. It looks like one of the bullies in the Jughead cartoons. <laughs> it also just looks means. like a delicious pie. It looks like a cupcake. Yeah, it looks like a dessert item. It, but somehow it looks like all three of the things I said. Which are scalar, scalio. Why do kids, all kids talk the same? Have you noticed that? Heel. Come heel. I'm a kid. Come heel. I want to have fun with my friends. <laughs> Yeah. I just talked like a child. Which is scarier to you, ghosts or aliens? Uh, I mean, I guess aliens. No, definitely aliens. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying is that any, was wrong. Is it round of applause? Anybody scared of ghosts? Mormon? That's not in your theology. <laughs> Greg, you're a Mormon. You're a Jack Mormon, you son of a bitch. That's why you're afraid of ghosts now. What Your is theology's that? all fucked up. What's a Jack Mormon? It's a backsliding Mormon. And you, you, t you embrace that. Yeah, title? they love it. Who's a Jack Mormon? <laughs> See? Oh my God, I don't know any of this. Well, they're all raised, you know, for the most part within the church. I read under the banner of heaven. Does that Not count gonna get for applause. Anything? Whoa, stony silence. <laughs> I don't know the demo. But I, I learned that your religion is like. Weird, uh, weird, weird nonsense. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> I learned that your religion is weird nonsense. Something you said to a group of people, and they liked it. They came along you know, they slowly. Came, they showed up. But here they are. <laughs> well, let's cover some Mormon stereotypes. Magic underwear. No, right? You say yes. You ever wear it? You did. <laughs> Are you wearing it now? No, I went to jail. You're now a Jack Mormon. First thing to go is those weird granny panties. Whoa, Jack she has a Mormon shirt Coffee that says Company. It. That's hilarious. Also, no coffee. Is that a is that a myth? I've been told I say a lot of things on the show about Mormons that aren't true. Would anybody like to call me on one? Pretty good batting. Pretty good? Pretty good batting. The nicest guy. What I mean, was I what was I wrong about? Chelsea and I will learn together. Anybody? I learned that at the beginning of the show. For the YouTube viewer, he said you don't get baptized in the temple. You get baptized in your church. Okay. But you baptize the dead in the temple. So some people, you will eventually be baptized in the temple. <laughs> well, you've already been baptized. <laughs> I will be baptized in the like temple. <laughs> so I don't want to brag, but you guys are fucking chumps. I'm getting the real baptism in the temple. It'll be in about 50 years and someone looks up my card like, you know the lovable, openly divorced voice of the E-Trade baby who was never baptized? And I'm getting that holy wash, bro. I don't know why I said that to you. I certainly understand nothing that's happening. <laughs> We're oh learning God. about Mormonism. <laughs> I'm like trying to fit in with the cool kids. I'm like, ha, <laughs> uh, baptism. <laughs> it's like an inverse reality. Yes. Only here are the Mormons, yeah, the cool Yeah, normally kids. I'm the coolest person, but... All of a sudden, it switched. In the nature of learning, is, can anyone else remember something I've said that's incorrect about Mormons? In love, I won't make fun of you. No? Cammy? Not off the top <laughs> of your head? All right, if you think about it, bring it up at another time. What's that? Oh. You said I don't memorize your life. Boom. Why don't you? <laughs> you really should. I feel like that's a good time. We have to take these 15-second breaks for our sponsor. Did you know we, have a, we usually have a fake sponsor? You think a hurtful insult is a good time <laughs> to take a break? Yeah, I, I wanted a moment to kind of heal. Ta-da! Well, it's, it's Bullet. It says booze right here. Does anybody yeah. want some? Yeah. I think you're about to die. Can, does anybody have an upper for this motherfucker? Uh, no, neither of you get anything. If I had an Ambien, I'd give it to you. 
Uh, okay, so they're going to cut to 15 seconds of, of them talking about what a smooth and delicious bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> right. We actually drink this on the show. Ryan had to get surgery. They asked him how much did he have to drink before he... Uh, you know, for, for the anesthesiologist, they're like, how much does it take to get drunk? And he said, if I drink like a, uh, like a what is it called, a liter, I guess, of absolute, the regular bottle, he was like, that's when I start to feel buzzed. That's what that man said. I feel like that was a time where you normally would have done an impression. Ha! <laughs> I can't do Andre the Giant. Shoehorned one in. <laughs> <laughs> what is a line from Wait, Princess Wait, you said Bride? you can't do it. That was amazing. <laughs> Anybody want a peanut? Yeah! This mother guy came to play. Some are encouraging. <laughs> I like that. Your name is Troy? Golob? Moroni? Levi? I'm just trying to think of all the moron. <laughs> moron, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm oh! so sorry. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What is it, really? Aaron, very nice to meet you, man. With two A's, brother of Moses. We share that one. Oh, you're chosen. I love that. Chelsea. Pete hates Jews. That's not. No, Pete is extremely racist, so you guys will probably like him. <laughs> I like that you grouped them in on that. <laughs> that is not true. How could I hate you? Warren's like black people, right? JK, I that know guy, you don't. That, that guy. This guy who kind of <laughs> looks a little bit like our friend Moshe was shaking his head no. No, we no. do not. Didn't you go back and change that? Isn't there an amendment in the oh, works? Oh, that's awesome of you. <laughs> Aren't you also changing your stance on homosexuals? Is that true? This is the worst. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I knew a Mormon missionary that told me that at night they used to tie his hands up so he wouldn't pleasure himself, so he wouldn't have night releases. You know what I did right after he told me that? Found the nearest bathroom and took myself to dinner. And was like, freedom! I can do it I want with the dick that the Lord gave me. I sang that as I came everywhere. God, a uh, failed marriage seems awesome. Wait, I don't get it. Failed marriage? That's why you're alone. Oh, I see. <laughs> wow, right. you are the worst. We're having fun. We're <laughs> you heating really up. are a laser. That is funny that that guy looks like Moshe and that guy looks like Jonah Ray. <laughs> it's That's like true. <laughs> it's like we're at Meltdown right now. Let's go to L.A. and just do a doppelganger swap a <laughs> And he kind of looks like John Glazer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's some fans here. It's very, very nice. I'm sorry. Uh... I, we've been doing this on the show lately. I, you didn't do it when you did your episode. I've been asking people the hardest they've ever laughed. Uh, Keep in mind, you can go into your childhood. It can be like a silly thing. or Okay, yeah, because I feel like I laugh all the time with comedians, and then I forget. Like People always ask comedians the hardest you've ever laughed. It's a kind of a hacky question, but basically... <laughs> that um, is not true. <laughs> I do not true. accept that. People ask this me that This tastes like lot. caramel corn. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's a good but, thing. Um, I, you know, childhood, I had a good one where, like, my dad was teaching me how to ride a bike, but he's kind of a jerk. So he was, like, <laughs> he was weaving in and out of these poles at an elementary school. And he's like, ooh, follow me. You know, and I was, like, you know, struggling with my little helmet and stuff. <laughs> and then he was going down, speeding down what he thought was a ramp, but it was stairs. So he was just, like, <laughs> and, like, I was just, like, dying. And then at the end, he turned and his like glasses were off to the side, or his helmet was all messed up. I like cried the whole way home, laughing and couldn't speak. But hey, your injured father? Yeah, it's been all downhill from there. <laughs> but yeah, that was. That's fun. excellent. You made fun of me because I didn't know who Dwight Howard is. Who's Dwight Howard? <laughs> doesn't I, that this guy doesn't <laughs> answer. I think you can assume the team and the position from that move. I just like. I love that way to play. I just... Uh, I don't know who it is. Who is he? He's, He's a basketball center. player for the Lakers. You're getting an alert. Mention at-home audience. <laughs> hey, at-home audience. <laughs> you know, I know I'm talking a lot to these people that are here, and it uh, seems like they're more important than you, but you're at home, no pants, top off, paper clip on one of your nipples, and you're enjoying this in a different way. Maybe you're trying to time it to, so that you come when I say keep it crispy. So hold on. 
We're almost there, you psychopath. <laughs> Brought to you by Bullet Bourbon. It'll get you drunk enough to do what I just described. Yay! <laughs> Yay! That was good. Yes. That felt. Where were we? Uh, you were asking me a series of questions. Oh, that's right. Can we look at your Google history? It's a fun game. I just had like instant panic. It was like, can we look at something physical? <laughs> um, my Google history. Yeah, you have to take it. I'll do it with you. I haven't, okay. I haven't erased it in a this while. This could be terrible, though. So you take it out. This is a fun game to play with your friends. And also it moves fast. <laughs> you are the fucking worst person I've ever known. Here's the first thing I Googled. Good questions to ask to get to know a person. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you an alien? Is Sousa tequila 100% agave? It is. Sorry, Bullet, but it is. We are accidents waiting to happen. I was trying to remember which Radiohead song that was. I don't remember how you get the history to come up. You have to open up a new Safari window. No, 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 you don't go to Google. <laughs> no, go to Safari. This is uh, humiliating. You're humiliating. Then just click there. There you go. Oh. Freaky Friday was the first thing you looked <laughs> seen that ah! and <laughs> if freaky friday was in my fucking google search you would light me on fire and what? dance around my corpse i mean i clearly wouldn't because i've never seen it i don't know anything about it and someone made a photoshop where it was like me from when i was a teenager and me now and it was like a freaky friday mashup photo <laughs> thing and i was like i don't get this so that was one, POW Photoshop music. I was looking for that POW Gasol. Like, it's an action shot of a basketball game, and he's like, Ugh! And then, like, they put an instrument, like a saxophone in his hands, and it looks like he's this crazy jazz musician. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, like, one of the best Photoshops ever, so I went and found that. Nick Kroll, that I don't, I can't tell you what I was doing there. You just Googled Nick Kroll? <laughs> Yeah, maybe because his show is out. I don't know. Okay, what to do if Netflix freezes? <laughs> what do you do? Wait. <laughs> you do Google a lot of questions. You wanted me to Google while you were getting ready. You said, Google how to get rid of <laughs> static electricity. <laughs> Wait, isn't it staticier here? I feel like everything's staticky. My sheets are is staticky. It? Everything's staticky. Cammy noticed. I... I it's dry. It is drier. It is. Look, I, I, now I take the lunatic's answer because it's what I want. I understand. But it is. So I was, I was asking you to do that. Oh, Nick Kroll ranch dressing because I pegged him in the face with ranch dressing and there was footage of it. So I was trying to find that. Eyes on love because I didn't Wait, know. you just wanted to reminisce about the time you hit Nick no, Kroll? No, I, I posted it on Twitter and I needed to find it. <laughs> Standard. Phase on love. Do you guys know who that is? No, oh, it's someone else. Faison on Love. Yeah, I know we're you're all thinking, thinking of someone whose last name. That's what I thought. That's why you gotta Google it. But uh, no, it's some actor. And Blankets, Measles. I want to do a sci-fi show with that actor called Faison Set for Stunt. If I think it, I'm going to say it. <laughs> that should be your album title. <laughs> I will. <laughs> that was funny, set too. For you guys are weird. <laughs> um... All right, should I stop there? That's so funny. I had eggs B12 content. Uh, you're obsessed with vitamins. His car is, like, full of vitamins. Like, if you're in a junkie's car and there's needles everywhere, you guys have moms. You guys have moms? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretending everyone's moms are junkies. But, um, but his is full of just vitamins and, like, yeah, yeah just weird powders. Was well, B12. I'm obsessed with vitamin B12. Yes, that. Because it gives you energy. Thank you, Aaron. Brother Again, Moses kind of it. a muted response on B12. You know, you got to be okay with these moments. You know what I mean? They're here, and you feel them. If you were at home, you just went to another website. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone here is like, I hope this improves. <laughs> Realdoll.com. <laughs> Lemonparty.com. These are wherever you want to go. What are you go. doing? You're your own enemy. They don't want to go to those things. You've never been to lemonparty.org? It's .org. What is it? It's like old dude's dicks. No, why in God's name would I be on there? Sometimes you just want to see what we're headed for. <laughs> they get real low. They get real low. I've seen it. Yeah. 
Let me explain. All right. <laughs> what happens to vaginas when they get old? They look even more beautiful. <laughs> That's the cool thing about vaginas. I Does Googled. anyone remember the first time they saw a vagina, a, a, a straight male? Will you admit that you were like, you faked it? <laughs> like, you know that you're like, you're kind of like vaguely sexual. You're like eight, nine years old, maybe. And you're like, I think I'm straight, but who knows? You know what I mean? <laughs> and you see a vagina and it's just not what you were expecting. Well, I think it is crazy that if God made us all, like, why didn't he make genitals smell like cinnamon rolls, you know? And, like, look <laughs> really <laughs> look really beautiful all the time. Like, there's something weird about it. You guys suck. I really am trying to tell you <laughs> cool things, <laughs> philosophical, you cool. You always know how Chelsea feels about you. That's her main That's perk. the grand I don't, thing. But I, I think vaginas get a – I think – have I said this on the show before? You memorized my life. I <laughs> – I think vagina. I know it's early, but I know I think vaginas get a bad rep for smelling bad. Any dark crevice on the well, body. Well, so do balls. I That's guess. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. I've touched my balls and smelled it. Yes, <laughs> and I've been like, that smells like a vagina to me. Anything, anything that's Yo, in that the dark. That is upsetting. I know, but fucking a fat kid's elbow crease after a volleyball game <laughs> smells like a vagina. You're welcome, ladies. No more fucking stereotyping that it's poo poo down there. It's poo poo everywhere. Or amazing everywhere. I'd like a fat kid's elbow crease. Oh my God, so you must smell like vagina all over the place. I wish I did. Again, a zinger that was great. <laughs> <laughs> this crowd fucking nothing. No, they're there. Look at no, these smiles. No, they weren't. Look at these the way you indicate being there is by uproarious laughter after someone says an incredibly that great I joke. That I smell like vagina everywhere. Because you said it smells like the crease on a fat person. You Hence, I'm saying uh, you have fat person uh, <laughs> creases that's funny. everywhere. Is it that you're too dumb? <laughs> or is it... <laughs> <laughs> You I should, though. <laughs> <laughs> you should. I love that he gave you... I am sweating a little bit, so afterwards you can, you can lick, lick this it. weird part of me. Absolutely, Pete. I wouldn't have it any other way. I feel pretty good about this portion of the show. Uh, we never... That, we got there from who is Dwight Howard, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how we ended up there. You also were making fun of me because I don't follow sports or politics. Right. But I do follow religion and... Uh, food like I like food I feel like you can only pick two big things does anybody here love religion sports politics and like one fourth thing <laughs> it's two <laughs> things right the human <laughs> brain can handle two obsessions Aaron what are your two sports religion. yeah religion and comedy good choices fucking laser where are you now are you religious Jew Pass me my water. Not practicing. Will your mom see this? That's going to break her heart. Oh, really? Were you raised religious? Way to do it. Had his bar mitzvah, was like, oh, yeah, ha, 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 fuck you, and ran away. And you just took a little gold finger that had the middle finger up, and you were like, ah, that's funnier than we gave Did it. you put your old dirty straws in my water? I sure did. <laughs> I thought that was left by Scott Ackerman. No. Ackerman, <laughs> I make fun of Ackerman because he's real German sounding. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a boy, what, your, what would your name have been? I would have been Rita. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm from Boston. They call me Peter. Peter, Rita, we're done. That's what this one is. And then um. I came out with a ding dong. But I smelled like vagina because I was cooking in my mom's. I'm just saying, that washes off, what, two weeks? Who's had kids? At what point do you go, that's ah, a baby? Because for the first four or five days, you're like, nah, that's two things. <laughs> you're basting in it. You got the little <laughs> squirt bottle. That happens in there. <laughs> that will happen in there. I haven't been listening. What would happen? <laughs> Baby smell I like know you had asked me a question, then you did a 20-minute monologue. I was just wondering. <laughs> I started tuning out after I realized you weren't going to listen to me at all. No, I'm with you. What would your name have been if you were a dude? Nate. Nate? I like that name for guys. I think Nates are always pretty cool. Any Nates here? 
He was going to lie, but he decided. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. No, that's not sweet. I think it is sweet that he had a, a little moment of conscience. And that's how the two of us are always so different. We do interpret things incredibly differently. Yes. Like, he doesn't do that, and I go, oh, what a nice person. And right. then you default to kind of like what? Oh, these guys again. <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep. <laughs> oh, my God. Fully the crazy guy <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> uh, you leave him asleep. Yeah, we don't need please. Him. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Aaron, if you were a girl, what would your name have been? Brittany. Brittany? <laughs> Where are you from? A trailer? <laughs> That is great. Aaron is not the boy version of Brittany. The boy version of Brittany is Cletus. <laughs> oh, did you make it up? Yeah. I like your style, Aaron. Are you more afraid of ghosts or aliens? Aliens, that's the right choice. You know, Stephen Hawking said they're coming. Our most intelligent robot person said that they're real and that they're hostile. You should be afraid in this moment. This should not be a laugh moment. We should all just be like, oh, no. Chels, what are you doing? I'm responding to someone on Twitter who said, dear God, shut up. And I'm saying, dear God, eat a dick. Wait, why do they say, dear God, shut up? Uh, apparently, they don't care for my comedy, much like this audience. So I was just responding quickly to them just to say, hey, fuck you. Suck it. I hate you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you guys taken aback? Are you taking aback? No, taken aback. Oh, taken aback. Yeah. I was a little off put, and I know you pretty well, when you yeah. spread eagle. You were? And gestured to your vagina and said, suck it, to yeah. a troll on Twitter. Why would that surprise you? You talk about how they make you cry all the time. <laughs> If you throw me under the bus, I'll throw you under one, too. <laughs> that is true. Somebody recently left a comment on the Nerdist site that was like, they weren't making fun of my comedy, my laugh, my being ugly or whatever. They Typical troll shit. They, like, went after my character. They were like, you're not a good person. Right. <laughs> and I just was like, this is next level shit. There's no retort. I've thought about replying to him all day. but You just was, did. <laughs> That's kind of true. Very <laughs> hurtful. Very hurtful. What's uh, on your iPod? What's your top ten played songs? Oh, man. Something horrible, I'm sure. <sighs> I would do it, but it's all the national. I sleep to music a lot, and I like... The national is like the wedding's over, but the band's still playing. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I love them, but that's why I love them. I'm like on a tablecloth. Those chairs they have at every wedding. You know what I'm talking about? Those old-timey? You know what I'm talking about. Did you cast out any demons or anything on your mission? Did you really? You didn't? It's annoying. Has anybody here ever sound. cast out a demon? Would you like to? Anybody here have a recurring dream where they're casting out a demon in the name of Jesus, but it won't come out and it eats them? Have you ever had that one? Similar. No, you're all right. Chelsea's looking up her, her song. No, no, I can't find it. You can't find it? No. No, you're okay. You're in a safe place. Uh, isn't that great? Fucking A. No, it's terrifying, but I have it too. What's great is that we both have that. I really enjoy that. I think the worst part of hell, the idea of hell, like a torment hell, is that you don't get breaks to talk about it. Like, I'd be okay with it if every, like, 30 minutes you were like, they got bats eating my nuts! They got bats! And the nuts keep growing back, and then they eat them again! All right, see you in 30, you know what I mean? I don't mind suffering as long as we get to talk about it, and that's what just happened. Chelsea, do you have any recurring nightmares? Uh, I have a lot of performance anxiety nightmares, like where I can't find a venue, or I can't find my set list, or I can't remember that I thought the show was at the wrong time. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do you ever have the one where you look at your set list and you don't understand the bits? 
No, more I can't find my set list. It's okay. always I'm like running around searching for stuff. I just had that two nights ago. Yeah, it's I hate the worst. that feeling because it's like that's your security blanket. Yeah. Speaking of falling asleep, I've been asking people this on the show. People, kn- people probably know this if you listen to the podcast. When I fall asleep and when people fall asleep, I'm curious in their sleep rituals, meaning I notice that I think the same things every time I go to bed and I'm trying to fall asleep. Mine are I pretend I'm the greatest basketball player in the world, <laughs> like your Dwight Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I just love pretending it, it like calms me down. There's something like graceful about the dunking. <laughs> it calms me down. I fall asleep. And the other is I pretend I'm a sniper. Do you have anything? <laughs> Are you <laughs> saying just things I fantasize I am before bed? Have you have you noticed that when you're <laughs> winding down, when you're trying to relax, that there are scenarios that you play out in your brain? Maybe the answer is no, but if you play out in your brain, no, we've cozy. talked about this. Like you have positive visualization, whereas I have negative. Like, before a show, I will be like, no one's going to like me. Uh, I'm going to have nothing to say. Whereas you imagine yourself killing. Right. <laughs> That's just <laughs> That's how it breaks down. Oh, we have to take a 15-second yes. break to talk about the smooth <laughs> caramel apple taste of bullet rye. It's a bourbon and not a rye. <laughs> I'll tell you what's a rye. This sponsorship. I can't do it properly. Thank you. Oh, knee slapping. Literal knee slapping. <laughs> That is amazing. It's like tearing your garments in the Bible. That's it? That was good enough? What's up? Not really. Does the mic want an audience? No, they're all right. <laughs> the mic always wants an audience. This guy wa- You look like number one from Star Trek Next Generation. Engage. <laughs> What's happening now, Chelsea? Oh, 10 seconds till we're back? They're still talking about the bourbon. What's up, Chelsea? I'm reading people on Twitter's feedback. Someone says, poor Chelsea, Pete's making you watch him do crowd work. Ha! (laughs) That's funny. That is funny. Uh, Someone else said, uh, I feel like this show is your worst nightmare. (laughs) You know what? When I asked you that question, I really thought you were going to say this. I thought it too, but then I thought, eh, I've already made my point. Can we do, (laughs) you had one of the best riffs on me of all time when I'm, people were making fun of my shoes because you Instagram a picture of these shoes. Right. And I was sitting there and I said to you, I said, a lo- I get a lot of compliments on these shoes. And you said... From which aunt? <laughs> <laughs> but with zero hesitation. I'm talking man of the people coat, laser accuracy. I, she said it like it was on a script that she memorized earlier. From which aunt? Uh, what would the name of your autobiography be? Peretti or not. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That is fantastic. Uh, by the way, you're supposed to subscribe to YouTube.com, regular slash VPN. Just YouTube. Just get in there. It's fun. You, you t- <laughs> Just go to YouTube. Do you ever watch specific YouTube videos? When I'm feeling down, I'll type in laughing babies and kittens. It works. That's so different from me again. What I'll, do you do? I'll say, like, um, suicide videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, I look for puppies. You love pups? Yeah, I like puppies. Kittens, not my thing. And, uh, well, I used to like that Pinky the cat. That was the only cat I liked where it, like, just went nuts. It was supposed to be adopted. Do you guys remember that? And it was like, it was like, this is our cat. She's our pet of the month. And he's holding her, and it's, like, really low budget. And he's like, this is our cat. She's our pet of the month. And then he's like, she's a good pet. He's petting her, and she already looks like she's about to go nuts. And then, like, he, she goes, Aah! and he's like, pinky, pinky. And he's got her on a leash, and she's like this, just like. <laughs> and he's just like, pinky, pinky. And, he, and then she goes Aah! all around his entire leg and then bites right here. And he's like, ah! <laughs> And then this woman comes in, this useless woman with a cardboard box, and she's like, just walks like this. And the cat is nowhere near her or the box. Uh, and he's like, pardon my English or something, like, because he swore when she bit it. But it's just like the best little video. I've never seen it, but I'm gonna. <laughs> so good. That is fantastic. I, I think we're almost done. Have you ever pooped your pants? I'm sure as a youngster. What's the most recent time you've pooped your pants? I don't really shit my pants. <laughs> hate to let you guys down, but I feel like a lot of male comedians seem to based on their material. Yeah, that's true. 
I, I've often thought, like, if I've been in public and I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to diarrhea in my pants, I'm like, awesome, new closer. <laughs> but it's like, I don't understand. If you're in public and you're like, oh, I'm going to diarrhea in my pants, why aren't you like, let me find a bathroom? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's usually part of the story. They go like, I looked for a bathroom, but then it was just hot mud. <laughs> I this is why people do it, because everyone loves it. Yeah, I know. Well, it, it's a reminder of our humanity. Like, we have microphones, and we made pianos, and we have fake plants. But occasionally, our sphincters betray us. <laughs> no matter what we do. That's a highbrow interpretation of a shit joke. Well, if you're... If, if it's you're, a reminder, <laughs> my friends, is like, of our humanity. <laughs> I'm just saying, next time you go to... Or it's just lazy joke writing, but either way... <laughs> if you go to Mormon church on Sunday... I don't. I don't. No, I'm speaking to, to my, my okay. Mormon friends. Mm -hmm. If you go to Mormon church on, on Sunday, you go on Sunday, right? Okay. Oh, Cammy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just think about the guy giving the sermon. Sermon? Shitting his pants. <laughs> he probably has. That's, oh, you don't like this. I love watching <laughs> you not like this. I'm thinking about my youth pastor right now being like, oh! Like, I think that's a really funny thing. I also think it's funny, the guy, you know Joel Osteen? I love that he preaches to like 40,000 people. This, that's not this the I see dead people guy? Joel Osteen? Oh, Haley Joel Osteen. Oh. <laughs> Haley really Joel thought. Osteen. Let's pitch that right now. <laughs> and you know what, friend? I see dead people. I, I preach to dead people. <laughs> it's, it looks empty to us, but he's like, another full Sunday. <laughs> You know, you may have a plank or a board through your skull, but Jesus loves you. And God ain't broke no more. I just think it's exhilarating. I know it's exhilarating to talk to a lot of people and to really nail it. And he nails it. He has to get off stage and be like, fuck yeah. That's how you do it, cocksucker. That's how he does it. He's, got He's to. still a holy man, but in a private moment before his creepy wife is near him again. He's just like, God damn it, I nailed it. Then he walks by a crucifix. Okay. What? I didn't say anything. It was just very high volume. I, know. I didn't say anything. When's the last time you barfed? Barfed? I have been doing a lot of that lately. And in fact, the, like, it's so horrible because I hate, I will always avoid any kind of excretion <laughs> if I can. Yes. And like, I got sick on this flight, which I've talked about before, but it's like, I did get, I had one of those um, naked green machines. And uh, I don't know if that was it or not, but like, Oh, the juice. Yeah. I like, just pictured a machine that normally wears clothes. <laughs> Sorry, you've caught me naked. <laughs> His green machine dick. It's made of kale. <laughs> yeah. If you're no. not laughing, you're not picturing a wet kale dick on a machine. <laughs> I can't walk you through it. <laughs> Go on. I just did. Uh, so anyway, whatever. I got sick on a flight and I was just sitting there and it just was like that kind of thing where it's not gradual in any way. You're just suddenly like, oh God. And it was like during the descent. So my logic was a little bit off and I was just like, I can't get up now. The seatbelt light is on. And then I went like this. There was no vomit bag for the first time in all of history. And I was just like, Bleh! and I like pulled the seat back open and I just went Bleh! into it. And I was just like this. And like everyone around me was just like looking away like no one wanted to be a part of this <gasps> and uh, I'm just like I got like an old tissue for my purse I'm like wiping my hands and stuff and then <sighs> like yeah I just had to sit there with it just dripping out of the <laughs> seat pocket while I just sat there like a weird little wounded animal and then I went like once the plane landed I scooted past everyone to the back wait it just stayed there no, I went to tell the stewardess. I was like, um, I'm sorry, I just got sick. It's in the <laughs> seat pocket of 23E or whatever it was. 23E. 23E. And, and, yeah. <laughs> 23, <ew. laughs> and, so, um, and then I, I spit in the sink while after I told her that. She's like, what? why are you spitting in the sink? Don't do that. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just out of She's like, use the toilet. And I was like, oh, well, thank you for your empathy. Uh. You know, I'm sorry. I'm just a little out of it. And she was like, if you only knew. I'm the most empathetic person there is. And I'm just like, cool, when, when can we see that? <laughs> I'd love to. But yeah, that was very embarrassing. And then once you've done that, you're just kind of like, I could do anything. <laughs> you know, it's like, what's going to be worse than vomiting with people sitting this close to you, like right next to you? Oh, 
nightmare. They didn't have like a dry vac to suck it out. It just I don't stayed. know because then oh then I had to deplane and get back on the same plane, same seat. And so to see how thorough they were, like I forgot for a second. I put my purse down and I, like I st I put like a napkin and I stamped on it, wet. Oh, what so airline? So I was like, now I'm also paranoid every time I fly. Um, I don't remember the airline. I'm imagining. I'm sure it was like United. <laughs> Just because I hate them. No, I'm I, who knows what it was. We'll pause for a moment from our sponsor, United. United. <laughs> Are we done with the sponsor stuff? Yeah, okay. We're done. We're, we're done. Uh, my last question for you is, if Will I... Will you marry me? <laughs> ah. Yes. God. Three people want us to we do it. We would kill each other. We no, would murder it would be a nightmare. each other. Even just being roommates for these few times, like we couldn't be more opposite. It's pretty hard. Pete goes to bed at 9 o'clock. Um. <laughs> it's not true. I've been stressed. I went to bed early. Yes. And you were giving me shit for going to bed early. It was 1.30 in the morning. You guys wouldn't understand. So. 1.30 a.m. I'm like, call me old-fashioned. I'm going to hit the head. <laughs> And like, you're like, hey, you're I'm a suck. night owl. A lot yeah. of artists are. If I went and visited the Peretti family, uh, what? Because every family has stories they tell about people. You know sure. What, I mean? what would the story be that your parents would tell about you? Like, first Chelsea? of all, there is no parents. Yeah, I know they're divorced. They're divorced, and they don't have any collective stories that they tell. But uh, no. <laughs> this is why you stay up at night. The demons. <laughs> But I thought uh, that was laser. I'm really going to give myself laser for that one. Well, my mom always tells a story about, like, when I took this little ballet class, or it was some sort of dance class at, like, the local community center in Oakland, Mosswood. And, uh, like, everyone was supposed to just skip diagonally across the floor and do one little flourish in the middle and then go. And then I was in the middle. And the funny thing is I remember this. <laughs> like, I was pretending that I had, like, a string connecting my foot and my hand. So I was doing like that, and then I was doing like this, and I was doing it all these different ways, and she said it was like embarrassing. <laughs> like it was like to all the parents, like she'll be off soon. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, no. it goes like that. But I don't know. Most of the stories they tell would just be that I'm like selfish and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea Peretti, everybody. Thank I'm gonna round of applause Thank you so for Chelsea much. Peretti. You. you have to you have to say keep it crispy at the end of the show. <laughs> And then I mean, I feel like it's more of a tradition now that I don't say it. That's true. Yeah. This is you. <laughs> Chelsea Peretti, everybody, one more time. That, that is the show. This is a new thing to have the podcast on YouTube. I hope the people at home enjoyed watching it, and you could have come just then. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube.com slash VPN. Do you see how I can read a cue card? <laughs> Professional. <laughs> Professional. Uh, any questions for me before we wrap it up? Yes, sir, my Mormon friend. Have we met? At the Wise Guys, yeah, in Salt Lake. How's it going? What's your name? Cody. Cody. Nice to see you, man. <laughs> Eddie Papatone has the flu. He, his movie is called, uh, what is it, The Grumpy Buddha? The Bitter Buddha. The bitter Buddha. <laughs> I just made it worse. <laughs> Go see his movie, I don't know, <laughs> Diarrhea Pancake Sandwich. <laughs> Uh, it's actually screening tomorrow at 3 p.m. The Bitter Buddha, the very, very funny Eddie Pepitone, who is uh, very sick and upset that he couldn't do it. Also, Paul Shear, who also got sick. Yeah. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah, and then they were like, don't worry, we'll get you celebrities. We'll get you celebrities. Uh, no celebrities wanted to do this. <laughs> Zero interest. I tried to get Casey Affleck. He was like, fucking no. No, he nev it never even got to Case. No fucking way it got to Casey. It got to Ben. <laughs> uh, anything else? I just love seeing... Yes, Cammy. I love L.A., but everybody's a carpenter. You know what I mean? Everybody's in show business. It's like a weird town where we all make locomotives. So if you're not interested in locomotives, it can be a very lonely, isolated place. What do you want to do? Are they in show business? Then you'll love it, yeah. Yeah, I, th I would definitely recommend moving there. Do you want to do stand-up? Have you done it before? Yeah. Comedy? Yeah. Improv? Yeah. Well, it's a great improv scene now. I think a lot of the great people in New York moved to L.A., so I would recommend it. Get in at UCB. That's where I studied. Yes? If you're starting out in comedy or sketch, stay where you are. Like, if you're in Salt Lake City or whatever, do it there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
the worst ninja creeping in. I will assassinate him silently with my sword. Ah, oh, fuck, there was sake on the ground. You're okay, man. Don't worry about it. Thanks for doing the tech for the show. Yeah, so, so start where no one will see you for three years. That's what I would say. What's that? Yes, please. I'll hold it up pr proudly. Would you pass that? Everybody just get your gifts and form an orderly queue right here. Oh, my God. That is fantastic. What are you, the best? This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. You drew this? Yeah, or how did you do it? It's like a computer? Painted in Photoshop. What is your name? Blake. Blake. Fucking A, man. What are you, the best? <laughs> Thank you, Blake. That is incredible. I really appreciate that. You know what? We'll end the show right there. That's such a nice note. If you want to come say hello, I'd love to get a hug or whatever you want to do. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for being here. Keep it crispy, everybody. Good night. <laughs>